Hello everybody, this is Martin Chuck for the TrackMan Educational Series. And this tip is about face and path and how that curves the golf ball. So let's get started. I'm gonna hit a little shot for you. I'm gonna attempt to hit a straight push, meaning a ball that goes to the right and stays to the right. And let's see if we can pull that off for you. Okay, so taking a look at the numbers here, you can see the face angle started the golf ball 10 degrees to the right and the club path in essence matched that face angle 9.6 degrees to the right. So the face to path correlation there was minus or just 0.3. So pretty much face and path matched up. So let's take a look at what that means as it relates to target line. This white line I have on the ground and that vertical post and then track man as it relates to face and club path. So we had a 10 degree club path to the right. I'm gonna use this blue string right here to represent 10 degrees to the right. And then the perfect push, that face was basically, in essence, matched up with the blue path and red face. So path was 10 degrees, face was 9.6 degrees. The face and the path were pretty matched up and there's that push shot. Now to hit the perfect draw, we need to do something a little different. We need to get this face more between that path and this target line. Let's hit another shot and see if we can do that. Okay, so that shot's a little bit more representative of a solid draw. So the numbers, the face angle started the ball to the right, not as much to the right this time, 2.6 degrees. The club path wasn't as excessive as that previous push out to the right 10 degrees. This was out to the right 6.1 degrees. The face to path was closed. That deviation, the difference there, 3.5 degrees negative creates a spin axis. That makes the ball, the spin axis is basically the golf ball spinning backwards, backspin, and that's tilted in such a way that it creates a draw. Let me illustrate that on the ground for you. So this blue line now represents a path to the right 6.1 degrees a little bit closer to the target line. The red string represents the club face, somewhere in the neighborhood of two degrees. This difference in here, that represents a difference of face to path. And that's how the golf ball gets tilted to draw back to the target line. So in order to curve the golf ball, you have to have a difference between face and path. 